Hello, my dear students. How are you? I hope you all are good. Now, in today's lecture in our carbonic compound, we are discussing about some important carbon compounds. What beta? Some important carbon compounds. Okay. So see here, some important carbon compounds. In that, we are discussing here mainly two carbon compounds or we can say here ethanol and ethanoic acid. What beta? Yes. Say ethanol. First we are discussing in deep, in deeply first ethanol, then second is what? Ethanoic acid ethanoic acid so we were uh, first say what is the ethanol okay we already discussed whatever properties of ethanol then IUPAC name okay uh, then common name now whatever this ethanol or we can say ethyl alcohol it is what one of the most important member of alcohol Okay, it is a major and what beta? It is a major constituent of all, all alcoholic beverages. All alcoholic beverages. In that, beverages such as whiskey, then beer, wine. Okay, and in some amount, whatever uh, ethanol, it is present in medicine, medicines also, in cup syrup, in expectorant. Okay. Cup syrup. So, in medical purpose also ethanol is used. So, like that here, so much important or we can say it is a very much useful organic solvent. Whatever your ethanol. Okay. So, we will discuss regarding preparation of ethyl alcohol. What better? We will now discuss preparation of, yes, ethyl alcohol. So, see here. Preparation of ethyl alcohol so see here in preparation of ethyl alcohol on commercial scale first we will discuss better on commercial scale how we can uh, produce how we can manufacture okay so basically ethyl alcohol is prepared from sugar ethyl alcohol is prepared from sugar by by fermentation process yes fermentation process so in that process in that bit uh, of fermentation process whatever we have to use enzyme so that enzyme is what enzyme in what age so see here uh, first you know for that uh, sucrose then uh, sugar cane okay fermentation of what Yes, prepared from sugar by fermentation process. So, see sugar uh, formula C12H22O11. This what beta sucrose or we can say sugar also plus H2 means whatever alcohol is prepared by. Okay, so first we have to uh, concentrate on. Okay, concentrate on first hydrolysis of sucrose. Okay, so as you know, beta, with the help of this hydrolysis of sucrose in the presence of in the presence of enzyme invertase. What beta? Enzyme invertase. Okay, so you will get what? Yes, you will get first glucose plus fructose. C6H12. C6H12O6 plus what beta? Yes, C6H12O6. One of these your what? One is your glucose and another is what beta? Fructose. Yes, it has a having what? Same molecular formula but different structural formula. Means these are what beta isomers. Okay. Understood. So see here. When glucose undergoes again reaction means whatever this glucose. Okay. In first step we discuss how glucose it will form. Then in next step, we have to concentrate on 
how glucose okay or with the help of uh, enzyme thymate so what will happen see here yes c6 h12o6 in the presence of enzyme what with our thymate so what here in the presence of enzyme and this what your glucose then reaction what c2h5oh or we can write also ch3ch2 it is also correct ch3ch2 or we can write directly c2h5oh plus plus what beta carbon dioxide gas plus what co2 so here we want to balance this reaction okay so for balancing this reaction so already six carbon so here two and here also two so see here yes our reaction also what balanced here understood means whatever you are in a uh, on commercial scale your alcohol is prepared okay with the help of hydrolysis of sucrose or we can sugar then afterwards what only we have to take glucose in the presence of enzyme zymage you will get what alcohol or we can say what here ethyl alcohol ethyl alcohol or we can say ethanol ethyl alcohol is what common name and ethanol is what IUPAC name okay so next also uh, we can uh, here say uh, we will see beta second preparation of alcohol preparation of what ethanol by hydration of it what beta second by hydration hydration of ethyl so in hydration of ethyl hydration means what addition of water into our ethyl so see here you are this ethyl okay it is what beta ethyl compound containing double bond ene means what double bond plus plus what beta h2 so what will happen beta here as you know how your h2 it will break okay h2 it will break so what will happen here on hydrolysis or hydration of ethene you will get what yes as like this ch3 yes ch3 then what beta ch2 and what oh means complete whatever this h2 complete addition of that h2 on ethene so you will get what beta yes ethyl alcohol so our reaction also balanced here yes or no yes our reaction also balanced okay so this whatever this reaction is in the presence of h plus h plus means what your h2so4 okay so as you know uh, whatever uh, alcohol uh, suppose if you are discussing properties of alcohol then uh, uh, it will dissolve in all proportion whatever alcohol it is dissolved in water okay uh, it has a characteristic smell okay then also we will discuss uh, what is liquid at room temperature okay now we will discuss with our reactions of what yes reactions of alcohol so see here uh, what will happen here preparation over now reactions of yes say reactions of alcohol now see first reaction beta when your ethanol is reacts with yes when ethanol is reacts with sodium metal so see here what will happen ethanol reaction react with sodium metal means or we can write with a sodium metal so this reaction we can uh, observe in our lab also in our chemistry lab okay so see here whatever you this c2h5 oh plus na sodium metal so what you will get yes you will get what c2h5 o na means like this it will break minus and here plus so and as you know your sodium is what electro positive so it will join here minus positive plus what half h2 h2 gas it will evolve ok 
okay or we can observe uh, this gas in test tube also okay suppose if you are doing this in a chemistry lab so if we can observe h2 gas also so what will be the name of this yes sodium ethoxide what sodium ethoxide oxide ethoxide understood so say our next also we can write beta here second that reaction esterification what beta esterification means here for esterification you must know yes for that esterification acidic acid and alcohol uh, we have to use as a reactant what beta acidic acid plus yes so see here acidic acid CH3COOH plus C2H5OH in the presence of acid in the presence of what acid H plus so what it will form so as you know how it will break CH3CO minus H plus and here also what C2H5 plus and is OH minus so what you will get yes CH3COO C2H5 beta CH3COO C2H5 plus what H2 okay understood this so one uh, question uh, is in your mind okay students so that what uh, question beta see here we break here C2H5 OH here means whatever break, breaking of your ethanol we can Okay, we can observe breaking of whatever C2H5 OH in uh, OH bond also and in C2H5 bond also means breaking of this C2H5 plus and OH minus means both way we can break okay depending on reagent understood so here what esterification so this what we called here esterification means see here ester here form CSCO minus C2H5. Okay, so what we call yes ethyl acetate. So we have to we have to memorize what is the naming system of ester. So here ester it will form. So this what beta esterification. Okay, and one of the important here uh, whatever uh, I want to tell you something regarding this reaction C2H5 sorry CH3COOH plus C2H5 also ester are used for making perfumes okay so we can write the backward reaction of esterification is called yes hydrolysis of ester backward reaction of esterification is called beta hydrolysis of ester okay if it is takes place in the presence of alkali so again we can write Okay, hydrolysis of ester means whatever is CH3CO2, CH5 plus H2. It is what beta hydrolysis of ester. So, if whatever this, suppose if we will discuss here third reaction, or in that only, okay, so see this CH3COO, C2H5 is what beta your ethyl acetate. Okay, now this is ethyl acetate when I done reaction in the presence of alkali alkali as a NaOH so what beta here yes CH3COO minus and Na plus okay here plus minus CH3CO minus it is 5 plus so what you will get yes CH3COO Na plus what C2H5OH sodium what beta sodium acetate you will get understood sodium acetate so we call this reaction as the word saponification what saponification understood now these are very much important whatever reactions so we discuss here okay you have to keep in mind you have to write in your notebook okay now see some commercial forms of ethanol what beta some commercial some commercial forms of what ethanol so in some commercial forms of ethanol 
we have to concentrate on okay so say first uh, we will discuss beta here absolute alcohol what absolute alcohol so beta absolute alcohol means what it is what beta yes 100% pure ethanol what 100% pure ethanol is what absolute alcohol we can call another name rectified spirit what rectified spirit is what 95% ethanol 95% ethanol by volume okay next thing we have to discuss here some commercial forms of ethanol denaturated alcohol what beta denaturated alcohol okay so see here in denaturated alcohol means what or we can uh, write here methylated what methylated alcohol means those who are addicted with alcohol those who are addicted with ethanol okay so see here beta most important thing ethyl alcohol sometimes contain methanol okay in traces amount which makes it unfit to drink and uh, sometimes uh, they will add the impurities like a uh, pyridine methanol okay copper sulfate etc also added to make it what undrinkable undrinkable okay so in much I mean small quantity of methanol also what very much dangerous to health of that particular person who, who was addicted to this ethanol and sometimes impurity also there which impurity is better yes pyridine then uh, suppose again suppose methanol is it is there then what copper sulfate so suppose these constituents are present in that ethyl alcohol then it is unfit for consumption or it is undrinkable okay so adversely effect uh, we can observe on that uh, particular what beta we can observe adverse effect on that particular person understood so here say whatever third also uh, we will discuss beta so see in that third yes what is the commercial forms of ethanol nowadays as you know beta alcohol is used as an additive in petrol okay and uh, since it is what we can say it is a cleaner fuel okay so alcohol is also used as a fuel as you know it is also used in fuel in stove and in your spirit lamps whatever alcohols okay so these are what commercial forms of alcohol so you have to keep in mind understood now see beta we will uh, discuss uses of alcohol uses of alcohol so as you know first use as a solvent in raising as a solvent in uh, raisins okay as a solvent in raisins then paints paints and varnishes so as you know beta this varnishes also okay in thermometers also alcohol thermometer nowadays available in thermometers in thermometers okay we can use due to its yes due to its low freezing point due to its low freezing point okay in the manufacturing of what various dyes chemicals okay in perfume cosmetics antiseptic preservatives okay and your alcohol is used in uh, anesthetic agent also in medicine in medicine is what tincture iodine in medicine where tincture iodine okay so you have to write in your notebook 
ओके नाउ वी विल डिस्कस इथेनॉइक एसिड व्हाट बेटा इथेनॉइक एसिड ओके सो से इन इथेनॉइक एसिड इन इथेनॉइक एसिड से फर्स्ट वी कवर व्हाट फर्स्ट वी कवर हियर व्हाट एवर इथिल अल्कोहल इथेनॉल नाउ इट्स टाइम टू डिस्कस व्हाट इथेनॉइक एसिड so these also what widely used as a vinegar okay uh, we can use uh, vinegaric acid in uh, as a as a preservative also okay so see uh, we will uh, start here preparation what beta yes preparation of what ethanoic acid vinegar or we can say what acetic acid okay preparation of acetic acid so see here from oxidation of ethanol first what beta from oxidation of ethanol so how see here as you know beta ethanol and oxidation in the presence of or with the help of uh, your alkaline kmn4 uh, then acidified get to ci2o7 potassium dichromate Gives it an acid. So it, here, one of the important thing is what to stop this reaction at aldehyde stage. To stop this reaction at the aldehyde stage, aldehyde stage, mild oxidizing agent use. Mild oxidizing agent. So whatever we discuss, first we discuss what whatever you use CH three CH two O A. it will be converted directly into with the help of this reagent alkaline kmn4 what it will convert it ch3 co minus sorry ch3 coh means ethyl alcohol to it will convert into ethanol gases to stop this at the aldehyde stage only we have to use for that we have to use some mild oxidizing agent so see here beta we can use that also means ch3 ch2oh pcc pcc is what one of the mild oxidizing agent what is the name of this full form pyridinium yes pyridinium chloro chromate pyridinium chloro chromate so what it is this water ch2oh part is converted into what aldehyde so we can stop this reaction at the aldehyde stage with the help of this mild what mild oxidizing agent mild oxidizing agent understood okay now see beta from esters how can we can uh, prepare ready so see here how we can prepare yes whatever our ethanoic acid from what beta from esters yes how we can prepare see here okay so see here uh, now only we discuss that ch3coo c2h5 plus h2 so what in the presence of h plus so what here as you know it will break like this and uh, h plus and oh minus like that your water will will break so see here ch3 coh plus what c2h5 oh or we can write ch3 ch2 oh or this we can write what ch3 ch2 oh meaning is same so you will get what beta here yes ethanoic acid we got understood okay so see here these are what preparation of ethanoic acid okay so after preparation what beta chemical reactions of whatever ethanoic acid so pay attention on that also ready see okay chemical reactions chemical yes k 
केमिकल रिएक्शंस ऑफ व्हाट इथेनॉइक एसिड सो फर्स्ट वी विल डिस्कस बेटा एसिडिक नेचर ओके सो सी हियर इन एसिडिक नेचर सपोज दिस CH3COH plus Na so what you will get yes you will get what CH3COO it will break here minus and plus so Na is what always electropositive so it will catch here Na plus what hydrogen gas so you have to balance the reaction you can balance the reaction yes or no okay so see here suppose in the presence of Na then in the presence of NaOH also uh, we can write we can complete this reaction so only is what byproduct is different CH3COO Na plus what beta H2 or I understood this what whatever uh, we are discussing here okay so here suppose if you are considering CH3COOH plus what Na two CO three. Then on then and then also here what will form beta? Yes, C S three CO O Na plus what H two. What CO H two plus CO two. All together we can write what H two CO three. Understood? Same reaction, same reaction we can write with what sodium bicarbonate also. Yes or no? Na CO three. Okay. Understood. So these are what all reactions. One more important here I want to uh, tell you here. Okay. In the reaction part of what? In the reaction part of your ethanoic acid that reduction reaction. What beta? Reduction. So on reduction in the presence of reducing agent like strong reducing agent it lithium aluminum hydride so see here reduction reduction means what addition of hydrogen in the presence of strong reducing agent lithium aluminum hydride what beta lithium aluminum what hydride lithium aluminum hydride what reducing agent strong reducing agent like that, as you know, better strong oxidizing agent is what? Alkaline KMnO4, or we can say acidified potassium dichromate. Mild is what? Oxidizing agent. PCC, pyridinum chlorochromate, these are what? Mild oxidizing agent. Like that, here also what? Weak reducing agents also there. So, weak, these are what? Better? Strong, weak also there. Sodium borohydride. What better? Sodium borohydride. NaBH4 sodium borohydride. Okay, so see here how we can prepare beta CH3COH plus 4 nascent hydrogen. Means from this hydrogen, how much, how much hydrogen they are giving? 4 with the help of this strong reducing agent. So, what here? Yes, CH3 CH2. OH plus what beta H2 means reverse reaction as uh, we discuss prior only in the oxidation of ethyl alcohol. Okay, understood. So acidic acid uh, we convert it into your ethyl alcohol also with the help of what? With the help of strong reducing agent that is lithium, lithium aluminum hydride, strong reducing agent. Okay. And after this, one of the important statement regarding acetic acid, that is, uh, uh, in some cases, or if you observe in our chemistry lab also, you observe somewhere in that uh, reagent rack or, uh, okay, on uh, where we kept uh, reagents, okay, in that we saw, I think, a bottle also of uh, acetic acid, in that, they wrote or what on that uh, bottle? Glacial acetic acid. What beta? Glacial acetic acid. So, glacial acetic acid means what? It is uh, water free acetic acid. It is what? Glacial acetic acid means what? It is a water free. 
वॉटर फ्री एसिडिक एसिड और वी कैन राइट वॉट ऑन हाइड्रस एसिडिक एसिड और वी कैन राइट ऑन हाइड्रस एसिडिक एसिड सो इट्स मेल्टिंग पॉइंट हाउ मच मेल्टिंग पॉइंट टू नाइन जीरो के लिविन एंड हेन्स इट ऑफन फ्रेजेस ड्यूरिंग विंटर एंड इन कोल्ड क्लाइमेट ओके सो इफ यू ऑब्जर्व इन ड्यूरिंग विंटर सीजन इट विल वॉट फ्रीज ओके सो इट वॉट विड अ ग्लासिक एसिडिक एसिड so these are what our important carbon compounds we discuss here ethanol and what ethyl alcohol i hope you understood all these things if still you have any query you can ask your doubts thank you very much